Good morning YouTube. I wasn't planning on picking you guys up today because I got a busy day in store. Not a things to do, but more than anything work to do. I guess that's something to do. I just mean like fun activities that I can share with you guys, but anyways. But I'm just getting back from the gym and the main reason why I decided to pick you guys up today is because one, I was really hungry and came up with a really good breakfast idea that's going to be like super easy and quick to make. So I want to share it with you guys. And I also picked up my new activity tracker. So I want to open it with you guys. Well, I already unboxed it because I couldn't wait to see it. I'm so excited. I will do a review on it once I have used it for at least one day just because obviously I can't review it if I actually haven't used it. But um, I will tell you guys a little bit about it, show you guys the polar tracker and show you guys this little recipe. Just went to the grocery store as well before I got home. I'm like starving. I had to grab this as well because we're gonna need it for the breakfast idea that I wanna make. And um, it's just like avocado spread it has eight grams of fat, one carb for 15 grams. And I also picked this up to hold me over until I make breakfast because it is 10.39. I did cardio. Oh, I almost dropped that. Have been up since like 6.45, so I'm a little bit hungry. By the way, if you guys aren't familiar with this, Synergy, it's my favorite brand of kombucha. And if you aren't familiar with kombucha, it's basically a fermented tea. And it has a lot of health benefits. One of the main ones is that it has probiotics, which you guys know are super crucial to have a healthy digestion because it's healthy gut bacteria. The macros for this drink are 8 grams of carbs, there's 5 sugars in it, and there's 35 calories in the entire thing. Usually I do track it when I'm competing. Since I'm off season, it is not being tracked, even though it's 8 grams of carbs can make a difference so if you're prepping and you want to have this in your diet I would highly recommend putting that into my fitness pal so if you've never tried this before and you're in need of something with probiotics that tastes good this guy right here is amazing and it also has lots of antioxidants so there's a lot of health benefits to kombucha if you want to look more into it you're more than welcome to because Google is a good friend for that but that is all I know about it so I'm gonna sip on this Show you guys how we're gonna make this awesome, super simple breakfast idea that I had on the way here. And let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do before I even get anything together is I'm gonna turn on the oven because we are gonna be broiling. I don't even wanna cook this. If it was up to me, I would just be having like puff wheat cereal and call it a meal. <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn that on and then get this together. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly fry, fry my egg. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of cooking spray on there. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna throw my turkey bacon in the oven so it gets nice and toasty in the broiler. Before I go ahead and throw the bread in the oven with the cheese so it melts, I do wanna toast it first because I don't want the avocado spread to be too hot. So I'm gonna toast the bread first, put the avocado spread on it, and then the cheese to melt it, and then we're gonna put together this little breakfast toasty goodness. And now we wait. I don't think that spread was meant to be broiled, but I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm too damn hungry to try and fix it. scared to try this because to me it's looking like a fail all the way from here but food is food mm -hmm. 
I wish I was lying when I said this is freaking delicious. You know, I definitely didn't make for some good food porn because I messed it up a little bit, but pretty damn good. Very damn good. <laughs> Last time I saw you guys, I was stuffing my face with the most anesthetic, delicious pieces of toast I have ever had in my life, but just a little update on my day. It is 12.53 right now, and I am on my way back to the gym because I am meeting up with one of my bikini clients. They're going to go over some posing, and if anyone is interested in my online coaching services or my posing services, make sure to check out this link right here. It'll be down below in my description box as well if you just want to give it a quick click and check out the services that I have to offer. But I'm going to put this away because I shouldn't be vlogging and driving. I know it's terrible. So I will see you guys there. sipping on amino IV then what am I sipping on water mm -mm. who drinks water nowadays if you guys are interested in getting some of this you guys know where to go I will put all the information for P science right here so if you guys are interested in getting some amino IV and what you guys see right here is the letter so I can renew my IFBB membership, basically my pro card. So every single year you have to pay, I think it's three or $200. Yeah, you have to pay to be a pro athlete. You have to pay for your pro card in order to compete. So it's just like any other federation, most of the time you have to pay a membership to compete. Thankfully in the IFBB, you do not have to pay for shows that you wanna do, but you do have to pay for a membership. So that's basically what this is, my renewal for 2017 and then all the show dates. So, not sure if I'm quite ready to start looking at shows for next year, but I definitely want to give myself time to grow this off season. I don't want to rush into shows, but I also want to qualify for Olympia 2017. That was the goal that I set for myself this year, and obviously it'll carry on to next year. It's like a long-term goal, but the deadline to qualify for the Olympia, I believe, is in August, so we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't want to rush into anything, so if it doesn't happen next year, you know there's always next year and the year after that. Um, time is on my side for now, thankfully, so I guess we'll see how things go, but right now it's definitely not on the list, so. On another note, I'm really happy with how Emma did with her first posing session. She's looking amazing and we still have until February to go. So I'm super happy with her progress and just how well she did with her first posing session. For the rest of the afternoon, I have a lash appointment and then I just have a lot of work to do on my computer. So I will probably see you guys after all of that happens and I will show you guys my new activity tracker which I'm super excited about because it's so fresh so I will catch you guys later what's up my nails done lashes done I feel ready to take on the world so it's November 17th I kind of didn't finish off the vlog yesterday because I still wanted to open this up and I actually never got a chance to because I was so busy and just running around like crazy all day yesterday. So we're gonna open this up and see what it's all about. I am so excited. So this is actually a birthday present from P Science. Um, probably the only birthday present I 
got. Oh, and my friends bought me dinner at the Cheesecake Factory or lunch. But other than that, this is literally the only birthday present I got. And the main reason why I wanted a new fit tracker was because I was sick of wearing my Polar FT60 and my Fitbit HR, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, at the same time when I had to track my cardio calories. And even though the Fitbit actually does do your cardio calories, I don't like it because it's not accurate. It's on your wrist, it moves, it cuts out, it's just not accurate in my opinion whatsoever. So that's why I wanted something with a chest strap. And I also wanted something that counted my steps. That's the only thing I really use it for. I don't use it for running, I don't use it for like distance or GPS or anything like that. There's a lot of other watches out there that you can find that do all of that. But I just wanted something simple that tracked my steps and counted my cardio calories accurately. So. This is exactly why I got this one right here and obviously the fact that it's like stunning. The crystals are actually Swarovski, I don't know if I said that right but if I didn't you can let me know down below. Um, and it's called the Polar Loop Crystal Activity Tracker. I do believe there is a 2.0 version but I just got this one because I like how this one looks. Tracks your activity 24-7, knows exactly how many calories you, you burn. I asked for the chest strap as well because I like the chest strap for cardio, I don't mind wearing it, I think it's super accurate and I just I don't mind it so you do have to get the chest strap separate but I would highly recommend it because it's gonna make your calorie count a lot more accurate it also has an app on your phone like Fitbit and it does track your sleep quality as well this does have Bluetooth on it so if you have a chest strap that has Bluetooth already then you can use the chest strap that you have if not then you might have to get a new one um, so this is a little heart rate monitor, got it in pink, that's a strap, and... This is what it looks like. The wristband is a little more flexible than the Fitbit, it feels like. It's a little bit thinner, definitely a lot prettier. Um, the strap, so it's like a little watch, like an actual watch. And then it just clip it on the sides, opens, slide on the wrist, and you're good to go. Oh, and you can also customize the bracelet size. So that's what this little thing here is for. And they show you on the um, user guide how to do it. They even have a little wrist size measuring tape on here. That way you can measure your wrist and then adjust the wristband size accordingly. And um, to set it up, you basically plug it into your computer, go into their website, download their whole software, and then set up your account and you're basically good to go. So that means I should be able to use it today. I'm going to use it for today, possibly tomorrow as well, and then I will get back to you and let you guys know how I liked it. And if I would recommend it over the Fitbit, to be honest, I think I will. Like, just the look of it is, like, way nicer. So super excited for this, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow to let you guys know how I like it. All right, YouTube, moment of truth. So like I said, I would be wearing my watch for at least a full day, and I finally did, and the verdict is, overall, I'm really happy with it. I really, really, really like it. Um, it shows you the time, it shows you your steps. I think it works fantastic. Um, I did use my heart rate chest strap, and once that was on me, it actually synced to the wristband, so I was able to see my heart rate while I was doing cardio today, and then I also, got it hooked up to the apps so there's a polar beat which you can actually use with just the heart rate so even if you don't want to buy a wristband you can buy just um the chest strap and that will sync straight to your phone and it will actually show you how many calories you burned and all of that so if you don't want to spend that much money on a wristband then you can just use the app and the chest strap you just have to keep in mind that it's not going to show you like your overall steps or sleep and all of that like this will so this shows you your 
heart rate when you're wearing a strap otherwise it doesn't which honestly I don't mind because in my opinion I find that whatever is on your wrist if it's giving you a heart rate it's most likely not very accurate because it moves very much and I just I don't think it's accurate that's the main reason why I got this with the chest strap um, but it shows you your heart rate with the chest strap it shows you your activity levels it shows you um, your sleep it monitors your sleep, um, it shows you your steps, your calories burned throughout the day. It will buzz if you've been inactive for a long time to just get you moving and tell you that you need to get moving. And then it doesn't have any buttons or anything. I love the look of it, another reason why I got it. Go right here, then that's where it shows you like the calories, um, the steps, the time. It also gives you ideas on how to be more active and fill up the rest of your bar for your activity levels for the day, what it, what it recommends. Personally, I would recommend it, but the thing that you have to remember is that the activity tracker that you get has to suit your lifestyle. If you're a different kind of athlete than me and if you swim or you need to track your running or you need GPS on your watch, then you might want to look into other polar watches or other like Garmin or Fitbit or whatever there is because this doesn't do that. I basically wanted something that tracked my steps and calories burnt. That's about it. So here's what the app looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And it shows pretty much everything like how active you have been all day, um, your calories burnt, your steps, um, how long you were active for. And you can also sync the app to your MyFitnessPass so you can share your activity and all of that with your friends if you really want to. So like I said, I really liked it. Um, I would recommend it 100%. If you guys want to read up more on it, then you're more than welcome to. Google is an amazing source for that. I'm just telling you guys from my experience um, from having a Fitbit, a Polar FT60, and then this guy now. So. And that will be the end of this vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions for me, if there's something you want to tell me, you know where to leave it down below. If you did like the vlog, make sure you hit that like button before you head out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next one.